Right now we're going to show you how to bleed your brakes. This can be done with only one person, but two people are recommended for the job. So what is bleeding your brakes and then why is it important? Bleeding your brakes is the procedure to get rid of any air and contaminants that may have entered the brake system. When the brake pedal is applied, pressure begins to build through the brake lines, allowing the brake fluid to activate the calipers to slow down and stop the vehicle. But, if air is present in the hydraulic lines, then that pressure will act on the air first, before activating the calipers, which can cause the brakes to fail. Here are the tools and equipment you'll need to complete the job. Brake fluid. Brake fluid is highly corrosive, so keep away from the vehicle's paint. A bleeding tool. You can purchase one at an automotive store, or you can make one yourself. A suitable spanner to fit over the bleeding screw. A jack or hoist to keep your car elevated. A few rags and towels to soak up and wipe spills. First thing to do is to locate which side the master cylinder is on to identify the order to bleed the brakes. The order starts from the furthest wheel away from the cylinder, then work the next furthest and so on and until all wheels are complete. So, this would be the order if your master cylinder is on the right side of the vehicle. And this would be the order if it's on the left. Top up your brake fluid, making sure there's enough in the master cylinder. Not enough brake fluid can cause air to re-enter the braking system. Cover the cylinder with your lid, so no contaminants enter. No need to tighten it just yet. You'll be regularly checking levels during the procedure. Head over to your first wheel and manually turn the wheel out for easy access to the bleeding screw on the caliper and take off the rubber cap. Sit a suitable spanner onto the bleeding screw. Now, ready your bleeding tool. Fill your bleeding tool about a third to halfway of brake fluid. Ensure that the bottom end of the tube of your bleeding tool is submerged in the brake fluid. This will prevent any air recirculating into the braking system. Now connect the top of the tube to the bleeding screw on the caliper. Open the bleeding screw with your spanner to allow flow of brake fluid. This creates an exit point for any air or contaminants to exit the system and gets collected into the bleeding tool. Now go around and pump the brake pedal. The brake pressure should feel rock hard and not spongy. 8 to 10 pumps should be enough to remove air from the system. Head back over to your wheel. Close the bleeding screw and then disconnect the tube. Put the rubber cap back on and repeat this process on the other wheels. Remember to keep an eye out on your fluid levels and top up when needed. Head to dba.com.au and follow our social channels to stay up to date with everything DBA.